Tony, one more question, uh, Dave. Um, I understand you don't have details about what's going on downstream, but do you have any idea as of right now whether there are capacity issues downstream on Cobbs Creek? It's it's really it's really down the bottom where <coughs> where uh, Meadowbrook comes out on catch up line. Um, I'm not familiar with like where, where Pico Golf Course is. Yeah, we're off. talking about McCall. We're talking about Caracol. Yeah. yeah, the answer is yes. We've got we've got the PennDOT plans on the storm sewer system, and again we did a a a logical look at the capacity of that system down there. Plus, just as important, we've been there during the rain events. Yeah. And and the the preliminary indications are not all that negative. But a lot of devil's in a detail. And again, it's not our system. So there could be an anomaly of that that we don't know about. But it's it's not we're not trying to put let me let me say it a little simpler. We're not trying to put a forty eight inch pipe into a twenty four inch pipe. If we go down there. Right. It's okay. a pretty it's a pretty and, and like the situation, box on the right. other side. The situation we have at Merwood is Merwood Park is a floodplain. That fills up with water, and that fills up with water before the streets fill with water. And that's that eases the capacity. I mean, that's necessary for us not to have overloading into that system. And it frees up the capacity good, to be able to channel to channel mill and all those roads down into that, into the creek there. Um, my question is, and, and your preliminary indications now are that there's not, that neighborhood is not acting as a floodplain. It's just getting flooded, but the water's still going down through to Cobbs Creek and Caracon Creek and getting out of you know, eventually getting out of there. I mean, is it right, backing that, up millions of gallons? And we are, and it's... It, it, it's not acting like Chatham Glen Park. I mean, that water, right, I mean, that water goes through there fast. That water doesn't go into, into that neighborhood. Not Chatham Glen Park, like uh, Merwood. Merwood. It doesn't act like Merwood, where it overflows in, goes off. And stays there stays, and then releases out. Goes quiet. Yeah. When it comes through that neighborhood, it comes through with, with, with some velocity. Yeah. Right. So, the, the, so it's not like we're trying to we're not trying to convert a floodplain into, no, just, uh, you know, into an area where we're going to flow water out of. We're dealing with a place that has had whatever natural resource it had to channel the water out has now somehow been covered up or rendered ineffective. Yeah, yeah. And think about the great change too. Like to Chatham Glen. To me, keep saying Chatham Glen. Merwood's like this. Right. This neighborhood, these, you know, residents. No, this neighborhood's like this. Right. So you're not storing water when you when you're when you're sitting near the grade like that. All right. My my concern is that you've you know, we have no idea whether state officials can meet with us right now. We're talking about infrastructure repairs that typically fall on the township to deal with. This is stormwater infrastructure repairs. If we want to apply for grants or apply to PennDOT for relief on this, we have to come up with a plan. And we have to come up with that plan with the assumption that we are not going to get help on it. I mean, that has to be how we proceed. We shouldn't sit and wait for somebody from the state to tell us, oh, they might have money for us before we go seeking PennDOT's approval to do these changes we're talking about. So it'd be great if people could come to a meeting on the 20th, but I, you know, next week we should be talking about real numbers, about what it really could cost us. And anything we spend, if we're able to get it, if the state would pay for it, the state can reimburse us for it. If the federal government would pay for it, the federal government could reimburse us for this. But it's not something we should wait on. If we need. I had not yet hit the applause sign. If we need, um, you know, if we have to have concrete plans in order to get the people who can stop this from happening, and our state representatives and our state senator and our federal representative can't stop this from happening, but PennDOT can stop this from happening if we don't put concrete plans in front of them, right? If, yeah, yeah. So therefore, that seems to be... Board and, that and seems the to be the most important thing we can take do that right next now. step. It's not a small next step, but if we want to take that next step, we could take it. And if if this job progresses, that it has to be taken. So it's all a matter of when you want to take it. That's the resolution. Well, we, I think to take that. Next I, step. I think that that's what we want to put together for the resolution. Yeah, I just I'd yeah, be yeah, great if people could come on the twentieth or the twenty yeah. seventh or November or right. whenever it is. But I, I I don't think we have the luxury of waiting. No, we're not going to um, wait. No. No. I agree. I, I mean, that's, that's, no. And that wasn't the intent. The intent was right. to. So we'll put, I, I didn't think we'll anyone was. No, I just think we wait. could easily get sidetracked by a lot of dreams of grant money and all that. We just had to be prepared that the township's going to have to pay for this. Right. Correct. Right. right. There's, uh, so, hey, look, there's, again, there's 
from today, if, if everything fell in place from today till till the final shovel in the ground, especially in the, in the Chatham Glen area, is not 15 minutes of time. That is a complicated project. Again, it's got I mean, is it nine issues. months. It's got permitting issues. I'd have to I'd have to sit down and map it out for you to write like because I don't want to just throw. I just don't want to throw numbers out there. But and I it would be very useful to us be next Monday when we meet to understand what an honest timeline would be. I mean, an intelligent, reasonable timeline, reasonable timeline for you to estimate based on your experience. If, if PennDOT does nothing with less than 180 days of notice, if, if this takes a certain amount of- It's not a hard thing to pull together. Yeah. Just got to do it right. Just got to do, do it right. All right, well, I do think we should, I mean, I'm not aware of us having a significant agenda next Monday. Next um, Tuesday. Next Tuesday. 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 Um, It'll be a really insignificant agenda on Monday. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, let's get as much information this week as we can in terms of a reasonable timeline. Okay. Now, obviously, it can move. And then, Chris, you'll put together a resolution. Absolutely. And we'll put it on the agenda for next week. I know. Yeah, we're not changing. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, it's all, it all happens just like this. Everything's in public. Uh, yeah, everything's in public. You can go to the website. Uh, you can actually YouTube the, the commissioner's meeting, Halford Township commissioner's meeting. YouTube it, and you can watch it. All right? Go to the library. You can watch it on TV. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Mr. President. I will entertain a motion for adjournment. Well, before we do that, we just have – it is a work session. Next week, we will be passing uh, a um, – a reimbursement and intent resolution in order for us to be able to take advantage of tax exempt financing before the end of 2014 to start the projects that we are talking about. Um, be aware that um, uh, that this the description of this project is uh, extremely broad and written in such a way to enable us to do all sorts of projects, including the projects that we identified last month. So. In addition to the design, construction, equipping, and furnishing of new facilities for the Township Municipal Administrative Offices Can and we, the Township I'm sorry. Police Department. We're, we're still, yeah. And the Township Library Building. Uh, we also have the acquisition, installation, construction, and deferred Quiet maintenance down, to the Township Sanitary Sewer System and Storm Sewer System, other similar capital acquisitions. Um, and th those are certainly projects that would cover the kinds of projects we're talking about. And as you know, any time we do an intent resolution, we always want to be overbroad in the description to the event that, the, that our township needs change and or that our projects increase in size. Okay. So obviously next week I'm going to be recommending that we pass this resolution. Okay. I will now entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. All right, now you can